Yeah, well, it's not the kind of reporting I'm trying to do here. But, uh, we got all around here. And the helicopter right behind us. Why are we surrounded by police? I mean, why are we surrounded by police? Wow. Is it like this the whole way of the course? Y'all ever run a marathon? Y'all ever run a marathon? You ever run a marathon? I mean, we just try to support. I know it's mile 21. I'd like to high five. All right. Okay. So I've missed like five of my friends running by, but thank you. Okay. Members of a black running club up there in Boston were at the marathon looking to cheer on maybe some friends, family that were running in this specific tough aspect of the race. I think it's around mile 21, and this part is known as uh, uh, um, it's of this is known as Heartbreak Hill. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember this. If you guys are longtime watchers of the show, as far back as a year, uh, our uh, our producer Emilio ran in last year's Boston Marathon. And oh, he said the reason they call this Heartbreak Hill is because it is absolutely heartbreaking <laughs> yeah right respect that's a lot of running man that's hard running a mile I, look I, I, i'm a runner i'm i've been an athlete my whole life i don't care who you are running 27 miles is not easy <laughs> that 26. is not easy 26 that is not easy man i think i could be wrong now, i've never it's, run it's a marathon. Like, it's basically almost 27 miles uh, yo, don't let me correct you, bro. You know better than I do. So this group set up to cheer on their friends. As you saw, there's a bunch of police that have formed a bit of a line right in front of them with their bicycles because they're cool. But on the other side of them, there was more cops. It was a bit surrounded. And if you really look closely, you'll see that other groups weren't surrounded, maybe because they weren't playing Drake on a loudspeaker <laughs> for some reason cheering and making noise is a problem when you're outside at a marathon. Anyways, uh, another uh, participant was there watching. She filmed this as well. Because I know people love to say we exaggerate. They love to say we exaggerate out here. They love to say we exaggerate. I mean, I don't even know what the presence is all about. They love to say we, we, you know, it's all in your head. You're making it up. Make this up, though. Can't make that up. I don't know why. Can't make that up. So why are we out here? We cheering too loud? We supporting our friends too much? All right. That's not excessive. That's not excessive at all. I can't wait to email and tell them about over policing at a marathon that everyone's allowed to cheer at. I mean, we out here giving them life. Wait. I can't this wait. This is, I had, they're on both sides of us. We surrounded out here. All right. I was totally on the Pioneers Running Club side until I saw this next video, because this is what they were doing. Yo, I'm gonna blow the whole lid off of this thing. This is the intimidating things they were doing in the middle of Boston at this marathon. Watch. Here we go. There's my guy. There's my, I mean, shout, shout, shout. Yeah! Yeah! How could they? You see that sign right there? It says cheer zone. <laughs> it's a problem, Jackson. It's a problem. They brought them just in case police out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just in case the black starts spewing out of the black people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just in case. Just in case they start getting rowdy and loud and extra. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, we got to be ready. But no, actually, Boston is uh, notoriously racist. Uh, that's 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 pretty known about Boston. Um, uh, think of Mark Wahlberg. That's where that's where he's from. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like so, that that that's the enough said. And I don't really have like a whole lot of issues with him. I'm just saying he's had some racial issues in his past, and a lot of it's because he's from Boston. So that's just kind of what's up with Boston. But uh, yeah, um, if, if there is no example of something being ridiculous, this is definitely it. But that's literally all it was. It was there's a bunch of black people. Uh, let's surround them just in case the blacks start spewing out. <laughs> this is uh oh, let's jump to a graphic too because BuzzFeed News was talking about this whole thing and it had a couple of accounts from some of the folks that were involved in being surrounded and nothing was being said to them. I believe one of the other accounts also was like one of the cops was like uh, there'll be a problem if you don't listen to me. This can be a perfectly fine event, but this was pointed out uh, by them as well. Running while black author Allison uh, Mariella Desir told BuzzFeed News that the situation isn't even new. This isn't a first time thing. She was at the same Pioneers Run Club station last year and also experienced disproportionate policing 
after officers were called while they were cheering runners on. I wonder if Emilio ran by this and saw any of this going on. We might have direct action. Still, though, he says yesterday was supposed to be a celebration, but running exists in the same context of this country, in, in this world, uh, in this world which is rooted in white supremacy. So we have to intentionally ad address the way that it shows up. So any, I think their point there being, you guys are upset about black folks always bringing up race, always bringing up how you're being uh, disrespected and how you're being limited and then threatened and then police presence showing up. If you don't want us to keep talking about it, maybe stop setting up those situations. Maybe stop unleashing your law enforcement on specific small groups in one small area because of who they are and what they're doing because you deem normal behavior and activity as threatening. So yeah, Drake is playing. Black folks going, yeah, go get them, like anybody else. If they play some Lady Gaga, is it okay? Maybe some Justin Timberlake? <laughs> I don't know what kind of music they're supposed to be playing that doesn't allow this to be a problem. But Drake is playing, and oh my God, maybe they didn't play the censored version, but I bet you they were. Drake got fake abs. <laughs> Just had to throw that out there. His abs are fake. He they're, they, he got <laughs> their plastic abs. <laughs> is this but, a uh, new procedure? I don't know about this. Yeah, yeah. It's, wow. Yeah, he, he tried to flex online, and it was, like, very clear. Like, bro, you have abs and muscles nowhere else, and you're kind of chubby, so those definitely are real. <laughs> but... <laughs> But uh, I don't know, man. But yeah, th this was, I mean, that that that's very Boston. This was, uh, I'm not surprised at all. And I'm going to have to link up with Emilio, get some workouts in, man. I didn't know no. he had the juice like that. Don't do it. Emilio runs seven miles before meetings, bro. Don't do it. Oh, he gone. Yeah, he, he gone. Yes. Yeah, so now, <laughs> now I, I found someone with more juice. Now I got to level up. <laughs>